The focus for the third round of self-assessments against the participation standard was on how NHS boards have used complaints and feedback to drive improvement. It follows on from our April 2014 report, Listening and Learning, which reviewed NHS complaints handling and made a number of recommendations. The report found that people throughout Scotland are often unsure as to how they can effectively communicate with the NHS. NHS Fife scheduled during a week in October 2014 to engage with the public around feedback and complaints with a view to finding out what was most important to them. NHS Fife, Scottish Health Council and Patient Advice and Support Service staff visited a number of venues across Fife. They helped people complete questionnaires and asked how they would like to give feedback. 125 questionnaires were completed. We'd had the listening and learning report and um, what we really wanted to do was to develop an action plan with people um, so that it wasn't about the staff sitting in a, in, a room, in a darkened room and coming up with what we thought was right with people of five. This was really about us speaking to people and finding out if what we were already doing worked for them and, um, and really about what, what mattered to them. The way we were normally working um, was uh, capturing people that we, we normally captured. So what we decided in this um, a sequence of events was we would start to look at how we go out to different groups. So we decided that uh, we needed um, sessions that were out of uh, the normal hours that we would normally work. So we looked at weekends and we looked at evening events. We're very fortunate at Scottish Health Council, our role is to support NHS Fife in engaging with the public and this was a classic occasion at the Kingsgate Centre in Fairmont and we asked a lot of specific questions. Some people are shy so what we did is we gave them the opportunity if they didn't want to be interviewed per se that they were able to write out post-it notes and stick it on the wall and as a result of that we've got some really good feedback. Even from a staff perspective it was really useful to get the feedback from people because um, within the team there was a bit of um, reluctance for example around using social media or even using text to a certain extent and actually when we asked people um, how they wanted to engage with us a lot of people said they wanted to use social media and they wanted to use text so actually it was, that was really useful for me to come back um, to be able to say to the team look whether we like it or not actually this is what people are looking for and are expecting of us so if we are delivering a service that's fit for purpose then we need to deliver a service that, that people want. Not only have we learned about how to reach patients better, how to work with other agencies and organisations that also collect the patient story and provide opportunities for consultation, but also about how our two teams work together. So that's our health improvement team and the patient relations team um, learning about each other's services, about how we conduct our evaluations and our patient feedback, how we collect our patient story, how we gather comments, how we manage complaints, um, so there's been a lot of learning between our team and with the patient relations team. Uh, what we learned was that um, going out to the community groups was definitely the way forward. Expecting people to come to us into one hospital situation really didn't work. Uh, the approach uh, allowed organisations to work in a coordinated manner and effectively managed to show the workings between CAS and NHS and how that would benefit the patients. Uh, more importantly, the patients are understanding the options that are available to them and I think that's key when we're able to have a collaborative approach, which Fife does. One of the areas we reviewed was how NHS boards publicise different ways people can make complaints or give feedback. NHS Tayside piloted a draft poster developed with patients, public and staff in three areas over a four-week period. The Head of Nursing's Senior Charge Nurse carried out walk-rounds after two weeks to feedback from patients and staff in relation to the poster campaign. The feedback from the pilot and the draft materials were then shared at a focus group with the public partners in February 2015. We asked some of the public partners about their involvement. I don't think any of the public partners around the table that day really thought that the poster that was being brought was applicable to the members of the public and that was a very interesting exercise so we suggested lots of different changes we felt that there wasn't even a representative picture of a member of the public or a patient in that particular poster i think perhaps if the professional people uh, are looking and listening to the comments made by the general the members of the public then they would make um, a push to have these uh, changes 
made and make it much more simple for the general public to understand. Not that there's anything wrong with the brains of the general public, but if you're putting in something that has a lot of jargon, you lose people, don't you? I've been up in that PRI and one of the wards and they had the You Say We Did uh, posters up on the board and that was encouraging to see well, instead of being stuck in a piece of paper in a folder someplace that brings it out to see that you are making a difference back what you say whether it's a good comment or a bad comment it's appreciated. What worked well was at the actual site of the original posters and a description of the process that was gone through to reach that original poster and then with our suggestions seeing the changed post, uh, poster and um, our suggestions about where it should go and any other things that we would want to be added or to be seen on that poster. I remember I was in with my granddaughter one day, I was a patient who was sitting in a clinic and I said to her, they tell me my photographs all over the place but I've never seen it. She says, well just look above you, you're sitting under it. <laughs>